championship. But Steph, you're exactly right. That's what Coach Mitty told us. She can have points, double digit assists, get to the free throw line, but not all three. Lee working inside. That's a hyper two feet in the paint. They can force those rotations. And if they can consistently knock down those threes, that's a good sign. Clark one for six now after that off balance miss. The lob into Lee. The offense sometimes that easy. That offensive rebound. This is a K-State team not too dissimilar from Iowa. Growing up together in the same way. Coming up around the same class and experience building around Aoka Lee. That's why they have so much confidence. Picked fourth or so free at the free throw line. Well, I think you found a little recipe for success in those quick pinaways for Caitlin Clark. She's starting off the ball. It forces the post defender to come up, make a decision. But Aoka Lee continues to go to work inside. Both of them. So we see the adjustment by Lisa Bluter and her staff. They thought they wanted to go heavy ball screen early and have found the quick pinaways. But they've got to find an answer. A couple seconds span just now. Sanchez, that running shot not there, but Aoka Lee, clean turnovers for the Hawkeyes. There's a lob inside, Lee is stopped by O'Grady, one more chance and she's got it. It's Undell to keep it a lot. Lee in the middle of the paint, works against Goodman and rolls it home. off to Walker, that'll be short, but Lee tips it to herself and off glass for Again, give K-State credit, their defensive execution has been on point. Aesthetically pleasing is how I would normally describe it too, and you're yes. right, disjointed tonight. Lee has got the position, she's calling for it, she is deep and she will finish. Four for four from the free throw line.